I was born with FOP and my body's turning to stone. I know even as an adult, FOP can take away what little mobility I have left, but I don't dwell on that. It's gonna happen whether I want it to or not. I've been living this great life for 37 years and this ride isn't over yet. Whatever the world can throw at me, I'll take on full, full head. My friend's like, I'll do your makeup for you. I'm like, no. It's one of the few things I can still do myself. So. Ashley was born with fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva where her muscles, ligaments and tendons are all slowly turning into solid bone over time. FOP is extremely rare. They say it affects one in two million. So roughly there should be like probably 1500 worldwide, but the documented case of FOP, there's under a thousand today. FOP impacts my daily life pretty much all day, every day. I cannot dress myself. I can't bathe myself. I can't do my hair. Um, I need help in the kitchen getting food because I can't reach things. Using the lavatory, using uh, tools for makeup, um, we have to get those out and set up. Um, she can't do her own laundry. I'm pretty much wheelchair bound or bed bound. Um, I need help with everyday life where it's, um, it's, it's tough being an adult, not being able to take care of yourself. There really is no walking for her. Um, if there was an emergency, she would never be able to escape on her own. She has to have someone with her constantly, 24-7. Ashley's condition is progressing. It is getting worse. Four years ago, I was featured on Born Different. Back then, I was walking. I was more independent and more mobile. I have now lost all mobility in my body. Despite the fact she may become completely immobile, she's living life to the fullest. Ashley's condition has impacted my life, uh, probably everybody in the family's life, if you will. Um, I do have a lot of help Hello. with family. Hello. How are you doing today? Good, good. 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 My daughter, uh, her husband, my grandchildren, um, they're all there. Actually, wait until you see what your sister found. Oh, Pictures! Oh, sweet. <laughs> I say I feel like a burden. I know I'm not a burden on my family, but it's, you know, I can't survive without the help. I'm very blessed to have the family and friends I do that love me and take care of me and support me. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's made me the woman I am today, so I just, I wouldn't be who I am without them. I, this is one of my favorites of you Aww. surfing. Like, it's and I amazing. Can't swim. I'm just, I'm so proud of you from where Thanks. you've come and how far, you know, how far you've come. So it's pretty dang amazing. That was an incredible day. I'll yeah. never forget that. Who would have thought I'd ever be on a surfboard? Like, not yeah. me. Ashley has coped with her condition throughout the years remarkably well. There are many heroes out there with FOP, but because she has FOP and she's an amputee, um, she does very well. When Ashley was three years old, she had developed a large lump on her back and she was misdiagnosed with febrile mitosis. This resulted in her having her right shoulder and arm amputated. It was probably six months later, after a follow-up at a local clinic, we discovered that they discovered that what she actually had was FOP. Okay. Of course, that was shocking news to us. There was so little information out there on the disease. With my misdiagnosis and the amputation, I'm the most exacerbated, most misdiagnosed case out there and we need to find those other people with this condition that don't even know they have it just so they won't have to go through unneeded surgeries we can get to try and find this treatment and cure to try and stop this from happening the amputee group that i started uh october of 2018 today we have roughly 23 active members we are here tonight to have our monthly Unlimited in the Bubble Amputee Group meeting. Being at some of these events before with people, it is, it's awesome to be in a place where these people know exactly 
what you're feeling and what you're going through. Like nobody else can understand it any more than the people at this table can. I started this so because I grew up this way. Amputee life is just my normal, but these people that go through it later in life need that support and it's like it's family. So we started this group and it's been amazing. We have just a great load of fun. People that are not amputees or haven't dealt with it, there's always like that white elephant in the room. Yep. Scared of what, we're not, we don't have those barriers. We can talk about anything with each other. And we were taking our prosthetics off and just throwing them to the side. <laughs> we're very proud of Ashley working this, this little group that she's gotten together. It feels extremely wonderful helping others, whether it's amputee families or FOP families. I, anytime there's a new FOP member or group or child in our Facebook group, I always reach out to the family right away. It's not the end of the world. They can live and survive and be happy in life. When I used to be a lot bigger than Ashley. Despite what FOP does to them.